Hello, this is Emily and Misha. Today we are going to be hiking in a hardwood hammock. It's a really cool habitat here in South Florida. It looks a little bit like a rainforest. It's kind of a very wet habitat and it's really pretty and nice to hike in. Uh, we're going to bring you guys along and hopefully you'll get to see both the really cool environment and some nice shots of Misha running along the trail. Yep, he's down here. Well, we will bring you guys along and I hope you enjoy.
also one really cool thing about this habitat here is that it's really wet and that makes it really great for like fungi and mushroom diversity and so you can see here we have these like bright pink orange mushrooms um let's see if i can get a shot of some up close and so they're really kind of small but um, they're actually a species of chanterelle mushroom, which is a really delicious edible mushroom. Um, and they're like a special species that goes in South Florida. So you'd have to pick a lot of them to actually be able to have like a good meal, but um, they're really pretty. And so they kind of make the whole forest dotted with these pink and orange little spots. more of the mushrooms. Look at them all. Wow, look at all that. Aren't they pretty?
one of the sort of iconic trees that we have here in South Florida. It's called a gumbo limbo. And um, you can see that the bark is kind of peeling. And underneath the bark, their skin is actually green. But um, that's like a hallmark characteristic of them. And their nickname is actually called the tourist tree because of the peeling skin. So people like to joke about it a lot. But um, they're kind of one of the cornerstone trees that make up this habitat here. habitats. Um, Misha, come on! Back here! Come on! Come on! Misha, come on! Alright, there you go. Stay here, okay? Now this tree here is uh, called a strangler fig. And you can see that it's got these kind of these like long roots that kind of wrap around a tree in the middle and it's actually a parasitic tree so it kind of takes over a tree and eventually kills it so you can still kind of see the tree that was underneath that is probably dead by now but um they have these awesome long kind of ropey roots so they're really cool Misha, let's go come on They actually make figs that you can eat some of the species. I don't know about this one, but some of the species you can definitely eat them. Um, they're quite tasty. Come on, let's go!
up on the wall? Oh, the rock. Oh, what a good rock. Is that a wobbly rock? Huh? That's a lot of rocks. There we go. Can you sit? Very nice. Good boy. Well, that's the end of our hike. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed coming along with us. And if you want to enjoy more adventures with us, just hit the subscribe button. Um, but it was good to have you along today, and we'll see you later. Goodbye!